Today we're glad to be chatting with the guys of Emblem 3. How's it going? Awesome. So good. Glad to be chatting with you guys again. Yeah. So Solid tell us about this. Treasure. Yeah, treasure. Uh, last time we spoke to you guys uh, was on the Selena tour, and now you guys are headlining. What's different about the tours this time? How is your headlining tour going? Well, uh, the difference is we have our own bus with our crew full of like really awesome people that are our close friends that we love, and um, all the fans are there to see like us, which is great. So we just get to connect with them throughout the show, which is just such a blessing because they're so amazing and supportive. And we're not playing in front of, you know, a bunch of Selena's fans. They're just, they're, all they're awesome. ours, and yeah, it's, it's so cool. It's really awesome. And um, on this tour, we got to, like, design and uh, set up the tour how we wanted it exactly. And, like, we had to follow all of Selena's rules, obviously. On we the didn't have a skate ramp on stage. Oh, yeah, like, awesome. we, we got to design the set and, like, say what we wanted on stage and everything. So it was really cool. Well, I see you're running around in a tutu on stage. I mean, what you tour do you it? get to do this? Yeah. Oh God. Is that like viral I saw now? You oh, yeah, online. that's all over online, by the way. Yeah, it was pretty awesome. That's I'm not gonna lie. Got to throw on a tutu and run around in public. So tell us now about your new music. Please tell me this music is coming out soon because we can't wait. Yeah, I mean we just got a uh, the demo rough yesterday, I think, of one of, our uh, one, one of our new E3 productions, which is just us three produced it and. Man, it is banger. I cannot wait to share it with our fans. It's so fresh. Yeah. It just literally makes me so optimistic about the future of us because it's so nice to have just this golden thing and be like, oh yeah, we, I don't know, I'm just stoked. We're really, it. yeah, we're really excited about this new song we've been working on and uh, we don't know what's going to happen with it yet, but we're really excited about it and we'll, we'll see what happens. Really exciting. So I can't wait. <laughs> it seems like you're excited, Wesley. You're excited. We, we've had a rough, we've had a rough day today. Really Honestly, good. like we got kicked out of bed pretty early this morning. Ren, but he's doing his job, which is good, and we love you. And then we had to go to this high school, in front of the whole high school, and do a question and answer. That was and it was BA. awesome because it was BA. Yeah, BA. Uh, yeah, it was cool. But then one of the guys is like, "Bro, do you even lift?" To Wes, he's like, "Cause you're looking pretty small." And then Wes. How did you take that, Wesley? With my shirt take off. off your shirt. And then everyone goes crazy. And then he's just like, oh. And then he has to write us an apology. He's an apology letter. Yeah. Wait, he said that or who? He, yeah. he said, he that said he's going to do that. Question and answer. No, the, the, the principal kicked him out. The kid do that. Yeah. We don't even care. We're like, dude, we thought it was funny. Oh, wait. Cool. Wait. Dead tired. All right. wait. I haven't eaten in seven hours. Or he's going to take it. Oh, she didn't grab this time. This. Wesley. What is this? It's for you, popcorn, Smart in case pop? you get hungry. We got you food. Drew what? just rips into it. Yo, that's so cool. <laughs> See, we knew you might okay if you're hungry. Thank you. We actually hired like a nutritionalist and a trainer um, to uh, make our meals for us. Tony, where are you? Tony's with you guys? Yeah. Oh, really? Yeah. Well, what's, what's on the menu for you guys? What do you guys usually hey, eat? Tony. We usually just eat chicken, veggies, and brown rice. This is the most delicious popcorn. These are amazing. Oh my god. Have you guys ever had this before? It seems like it's a new what thing. What is this? Uh, uh, is this cheesy covered popcorn? Uh, what's up, Millsap? See? This is good stuff. Okay. There you go, man. I'm in heaven. Okay, I'm hungry too, and this is good. All right, all right. <laughs> Here, put them in the middle so then we can. Here, see if I can make it. Both have access. Oh, I was trying to intercept it. Oh. Damn it! <laughs> Alright, oh, we have one more try. <laughs> you gotta get it and pass it too. Damn! Oh, oh, Wes, Wes. <laughs> Wes. Okay. <laughs> Alright, we it. we have some totally random questions for you guys. Okay, okay. so we gotta start off. <laughs> First off, fans wanna know from your songs, who is Betty Blombie? All right. Please tell us who Betty who Blombie is Betty Blombie. Is actually not real. It's it was originally like just a way to say like talk about it was Betty Blondie. Mm, oh, but like, it's Betty Blombie. Yeah. Betty yeah. Blonde B, as in to say like uh, it's just babe. a girl who's like a babe who's at the yeah. beach. You call them Betty's, and you're like oh talk about Betty Blondie. Mm. But then it got written down in the lyric book, even though I told. The, the management or whatever who asked that it was Blonde B, they wrote B-L-O-M-B-Y. Like it's Blonde. Betty Blombie. And I'm what like, does that mean? that's no, not a real Betty thing. Blonde B. Yeah, it's just like a, a girl and 
Orange County. But this, okay, this is why we're asking you, who is Betty Blombie? You know what I mean? So I mean, that's what we want to uh, know. Who, uh, okay. That was summer, uh, I mean, it's like, it was just a, Tiffany? Yes. Tiffany? Yeah, it's Tiffany. I ate all the popcorn. Tiffany. Hey, what the? Good. <laughs> <That's> <laughs> <what? laughs> Did you bring more snacks? No. That was delicious. Thank you. That's it. Okay. There you go. See, I knew you guys would be hungry and you devoured it. It's I'm good. The proof is right there. It's all done and crumbled. Okay, tell us now. Um, favorite clothing store? Where do you guys shop? Uh, all Saints. So good. Yeah, it's just really expensive though. And easy to spend like 600 bucks there in a second. Okay, so define your style. Like. I have no swag. So. No swag? Look at me. No swag. <laughs> You gotta credit yourself a little um, bit. Swag, you have swag. No, I just asked these guys, hey, does this look okay? And they're like, yeah, sure. And then I wear it out on stage. Sometimes I don't even look. <laughs> he just goes, yep. Yeah. Okay, but tell you see, he's cleaning me out. Off. That's what friends do. It's kind of like when monkeys are like picking ants off each other and stuff like that, or when felines, lions, like ants off each lick other? each other, clean each other. I've never licked. We do either. the same thing. You lick each other clean. <laughs> I don't lick. I, I don't like either of you guys. Then tell me, um, what's your favorite Disney movie? Pocahontas. Pocahontas. Just the whole thing is just beautiful. I don't know. Apparently Frozen is like the best Disney movie ever. I haven't seen it yet. Um, okay, then tell us, did you guys hear also about Emma Watson being the new Little Mermaid? What? Uh, yes, I, okay. I, I don't know if you heard this. That's I why. I they were making a That's new amazing. Little Mermaid. Yeah. That is, I think I'm going to be able to go. Take a guess. Me. Yeah, see, you make good Prince Eric, yeah. Yes. Yeah, you yeah. That is, that's you a big actually, compliment. You look like a prince. No, you look like a prince. Like a prince. Um, is so. it <sighs> Robert Pat Pattinson? No, keep guessing. Emma Watson, do some thinking here. Just think Emma Watson and... Daniel Radcliffe? You got it. Wait. That's Prince Eric. That's what? what? No way. You cannot take two of the main characters the from the Harry Potter cast and, and put them... into a mermaid now. That's All right. Are th are th is Ariel going to have, like... A little like underwater broom, uh, underwater Nimbus 2000 or something. I don't know. I don't know how they're doing this. <laughs> Nimbus 2000, Nimbus 2001, Firebolt, Comet 260. That's one of the shittier ones. The Weasleys have those. Exactly. We gotta ask you real quick because another stir going, another stir going on on Twitter. Um, with the bees disappearing, yeah. we gotta ask you this because a lot of people have been wondering what do you think's going on. I would. Well, what it's. Gonna do? It, well, um, what's happening is the pesticides that these huge corporations like Monsanto that produce all this, Cell these foods. Flowers. Yeah, well, no, they, they use the pesticides on. So what they, Fruit, they, right. they turn the production of um, bees. All right. Do I start at the beginning? Start at the beginning. Because this is kind of a little yeah. spiel. It's complicated. I don't Say know about this. All right, abbreviate. Bees do pollination. They use pollination to create tons of food, at least huge corporations, but in a machine type way. The bees don't like the machines. Okay, so they're taking the bees and putting them and basically using them as like a machine to pollinate. And they, it's pollination is a natural, free, beautiful process. And the the bees, the pesticides that they use on the food, um, the bees don't like it. And they're like, what? It's poisoning the bees, and they're freaking out. So they're just leaving behind their queens and leaving behind their hives and just disappearing into the woods because they have nowhere to go because it's not they're, they're just living in poison like it's just and Albert Einstein has a, a quote that says um, if bees stop the process of pollination humans will have four years to live and for the past yeah. People don't realize this, you know what I mean? Well, they really because don't. the because vegetation can't exist without pollination. They, the they hold the specific pro like that is their purpose. I don't know if is you saw the, the B movie, but that actually happens in the B movie. Really? Yeah. Oh really? That like, the the it's like the yeah. cartoon movie, but it like actually happens. The bees just it's stop. The exact same story because technically happening. in that movie they all get so lazy and just stop happens. working uh -huh. because uh, they don't need to make honey anymore. Or they just like go on strike or whatever. It's like a, it's a Disney movie or whatever. So then, but once they stop, all the flowers start dying, and like all the vegetation around them starts That's dying. Really interesting. That's um, why it's important. It doesn't get to, to the extreme of like people dying, you know, but like it's like be careful where you who you support and where you buy your food. It's best. The thing is, is like local food and like organic, real organic food is like three times as much as. So like it's that's expensive. It's, so it's expensive. expensive. That's why. So the normal, you have to be like upper middle class, upper class to even eat right. Exactly. So I don't know. You know, inevitably there, there's either two choices, which is, you know, it, there's this saying, um, and it's that 
either an organism chooses to go sustainable or continues down the uh, path destruction. of destruction and it'll yeah. destroy itself. And that's the and that's what our generation yeah, our generation is about is that the awareness. deciding factor. It's like are we going to continue? Cuz human beings have the choice. Luckily they can either enough, go one way. Our generation is driven by what's trendy and because what's trendy and like cool or whatever yeah, nowadays is being aware being of aware. the environment and and sustainable living and stuff like that. So I like that we're a part of that movement. Yeah, boom. Oh, oh, that was he, was he was pounding. He was pounding. I was going to do it so all of us can put our hands in. Pound. All right. Sustainable on three. One, One two, three. Sustainable. sustainable. Oh. That was awesome.